Hey, what's good? You're welcome back to another video. So today we're doing another turning non-human characters into humans video. Of course, all these requests that I am doing today have been um, asked over on TikTok. If you guys are interested in following me over there, um, make sure you guys go do that. You know what I'm saying? I do similar content that I do on YouTube, but I also do a lot of other things like uh, movie reviews and stuff like that. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, right here we are doing Musami or Masami um, from Amazing World of Gumball. And she's pretty much this cloud character. Um, and uh, like I said, um, these are all my you know my iterations um uh, you know a lot of people have been saying that there's like already human versions of them but like that doesn't matter bro it doesn't matter if there's already human versions like these these are my human versions you get it so it's like it's my iteration of how i think they look um um as humans you know what i'm saying so right here we are uh doing masami and it was pretty uh hard because she's very a plain character to be honest but uh it was still fun to do you know what i'm saying i uh, made her ha her hair look very cloudy um i thought that was a good touch uh, to add and um you know uh, she seems like a small character like a small person you feel me um but yeah this is pretty much how i imagined her and all right, the next one we got was another request, and this was the brown Eminem from the Eminem commercials. I don't think they're, a, they're not really from a movie, but there's a commercials, and they have brown like different color Eminems, and you guys asked for the brown one. Um, so uh, this was pretty much my take on it. I honestly, um, you know, as I was drawing. I was really trying to figure out how I was going to, you know, turn this one to a character because if you look at the the M and M, like she don't, she's just a brown M and M, like that's literally. It. And I only had like the glasses to go off of, and of course the brown color and those beige legs that they have. That's all I had to work with. So I had to pretty much find a way to incorporate those colors into the character because that's part of the challenge. Like part of the challenge is, is me trying to stay true to the color palette i'm given you know what i'm saying um you know for for the most part of course it's harder to do with other characters that are just like plain white <laughs> um but this one was actually pretty fun i had a lot of fun doing this one i went for more of a i don't i don't say lawyer look i guess she looks like a lawyer um a sexy lawyer i guess <laughs> uh but i gave her more of like a um a suit kind of uh attire you know more button up and um, belts and stuff like that, you know, pearl necklace, um, all that stuff, or golden pearl necklace, um, white gloves, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, of course, I decide she has to be, you know, a dark skin character. Like, it just, it just made sense for the chocolate, um, you know, make a chocolate queen. So, like, it, it, it just made sense for me. I think my favorite touch to this design is, like, the belt I gave her. The belt is kind of cool. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it was creative as fuck for me. I mean, it's kind of basic. It's, 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 it's like a belt with the, with the buckle, the, you know, the letter M buckle on it. But I thought it was pretty fire. I don't know why. I just thought it was cool. It's kind of like a Gucci belt, but, like, for an M&M. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Eminem Gucci Bell. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is pretty much uh, how I came up with the design. And um, I think I had a lot of fun with it. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All right, this third one we have right here is not really, it wasn't the hardest one to do. I think this one was actually easier than the other two because. It was based off a Lego minifigure. Um, a lot of you guys were in on TikTok were requesting me to do the Lucy, the Lego character, and um, this one was uh, wasn't the hardest one because Lucy's already pretty humanoid. Like even though she's a minifigure, it's like I have more to work with. You know what I'm saying? So like for if for example, characters that are harder to do or like harder to turn into a character uh, into a human are the ones that are more plain or more like more inanimate objects or even animal like those are the ones that are harder for me um but ones that are already pretty humanoid i can work off of that um, for the most part so um this one was actually um one of the easier ones i kind of had a breeze um you know what i'm saying and uh i think it still came out pretty cool though um you know i i, I stuck with most of the like, everything that she was wearing pretty much i just gave her that um i had to come up with a different kind of face of course to make it look more humanoid but I tried to stay true to the minifigure as much as possible, and uh, I think it came across uh, all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not nothing to, nothing to complain about. You know, I actually remember watching the Lego Movie for the first time um, when it first came out of the theaters, and it was actually decent. Like, 
I really thought they were just trying to like do a cash grab and it was going to be kind of corny, but the Lego movies are pretty entertaining. I know they're for little kids. Like I know that. Like you can tell by the jokes they make, the ways like you know the way they go about um, the production of the films. But the Lego Movie was actually entertaining, bro. I don't know why it was fun to watch, and you know it's even more fun to realize that like all everything that was happening in the Lego universe was uh, pretty much just a boy and his father playing together with the with the minifigures. Um, I thought that was pretty a, a pretty neat touch in my opinion. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so right now all I'm just doing is adding in the shading. Of course, I tried to keep these drawings um, at a, at a you know a, a manageable uh, time frame. You know, most of these drawings I do take me uh, two hours max, four if I'm like really into it. You know, what I'm saying I think the M and M one uh, took me longer because I was uh, I was really like trying to get with the design and stuff like that. But most of the drawings here take me roughly you know two-ish hours. But here's my finished design. All right, y'all. So last but not least, we have ah, uh, what's her name? Oh, Carrie. Carrie. That's her name. Yeah, Carrie. Uh, what? Right after I posted the uh, Masami one, which actually did pretty good, um, everyone was spamming to do Carrie next, which is another Gumball character. Um, there's a lot of characters in, in Gumball, bro. Like for real, for real. And uh, I'm pretty sure eventually I'm going to do at least a lot of them or, or all of them. And I'm going to have like a whole like video just doing the gumball characters. Um, but yeah, this is the ghost um, chick. I've, of course, I had to go with the goth look because in the show, she just acts super emo and super like, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, she has that voice like a rave, that raven voice that really monotone like yeah whatever or yeah you know you know that that voice or whatever <laughs> uh, so i just feel like it just made sense to go for that um the thing was this was hard because carrie is there's not much to work off of like again it was the same thing with masami they're both characters that are just all white with a black outline um so i had to actually use that black outline to my advantage and take advantage of that color because i only have white and black really you know what i'm saying um and of course a skin tone color is allowed but for the most part, not that much colors to go off of. But I still think if Carrie was a human, it would look something like this. You know what I'm saying? I think I did pretty good for what I had to work off of. I didn't have much to work off of, but I still managed to get across a decent enough character design, at least in my opinion. Um, I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all. People are, you know, everyone has their own opinions about things, but uh, pretty much. Here is uh, my iteration of Carrie, the ghost, um, from Amazing World of Gumball. But anyway, y'all, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, leave down below more characters to draw in the comment section. I'll see you all next time. Peace!